Good afternoon. You're tuning in to Entrepreneur Life, all about the day in the life of an entrepreneur with your host, Rosella McDonald at McDonald Bookkeeping and Shamara Walker of SWHR Consulting. Tune in each Saturday between 12 and 1 p.m. with new topics and featured guests monthly right here on Hot 702.5 FM. Where we we make make radio great again. Welcome back. What's up, listeners? And welcome back to another day in the life of an entrepreneur. We are back Saturday. Myself, I'm Rose, the host of Entrepreneur Life and I'm the founder of McDonald Bookkeeping Services. And I'm here to my to my left with my co-host, Shamar Walker with SWHR Consulting. I'm so excited to be back. And we are located here in the heart of Sin City, Nevada. (laughs) So I first want to start off by saying, you know what? Our engagements have gone up so high on the podcast. It was like through the roof in December. And so for everybody who's listening on the podcast, we were on eight. Now we are on 11, um, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, We really appreciate you, even though we can't see you. (laughs) You know, we know you're there because our podcast was through the roof. So we appreciate you. Give yourself some applause. If there's an audience back here, I'm going to applaud. Yay! <laughs> I, I heart was one. I right. heart was one. Yeah, yes, I yes. heart. Um, um, Stitcher. They accepted us now. We are also on Amazon. So if you have Amazon Alexa, Alexa. say, "Hey Alexa, find Entrepreneur Life podcast," then you should be able to find us. Okay. So anyway, um, and now just to make sure everybody knows that we are going to be on a whole new platform. So all of you podcast listeners, you will still hear us just the same. But for all of you who want to get involved live, you will be able to get a part of our show. Yes, I'm so excited. Which is kind of exciting, which is really exciting, actually. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, within minutes. So you will get a hold of our producer, Wong Cook, under the entrepreneur the entrepreneur yeah. producer. The entrepreneur live <laughs> producer. <laughs> anyway, uh, or, or get a hold of me on my website, www.mcdonald-bookkeeping.com to connect or swhrconsulting.com. Yeah. And you will find all of our social platforms, our YouTube channel, all that other stuff. So we have like a really super guest because we like her. You know, <laughs> because, not that we don't like everybody. But <laughs> But well, we really like her. Yeah, we really like her. Uh, yeah, I mean, today we're going to, you know, talk with Danielle. Hi. Hi, Should Danielle. I, can I introduce myself yes, now? go into it, girl. Hey. hey. Oh, did you want to say anything? Go ahead. No, no, anything you, you got else. it. You got it. Take over. Like you got this. She is a producer. She is. I know. I know. This is your thing. This is your thing. Go for it. Go for it. Um, so my name is Danielle Nelson, and I am a, a news producer working here in Las Vegas. And I've been in the industry for, um, how old am I? Six years this year. I want to say it's close to seven. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> it's between six or seven. Um, but so I work in TV specifically. So radio, I've only done it like maybe back in college or like postgraduate. So I don't know too much, but this is exciting. You're doing well. You're doing yeah. great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she's really gorgeous, you guys. So if you guys who are only like listening and can't see, that's why you should be in our live show. Uh, right. You can see how hot we really are. I know, right. <laughs> so, right. right. Anyway. <laughs> but keep going, lady. Oh, with more? Um, <laughs> I also have a podcast. Um, yeah. My um, good friend and I, we talk about movies. Um, so it's called The Feature Show. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. So we talk anything and everything about movies. Um, we're also on Stitcher, so we can Re- like yeah, we're a team. Did you guys um, hear that? Yes. So what was it called again? The so feature, they can find you? The Feature Show. The Feature yes, Show. The Feature okay. Show. Perfect. Yes. So I love movies, um, so I need to listen in. Yeah. I didn't even know that you had a podcast. I, I know. forgot if I even told I don't remember yeah. if I even told you. I 
I don't know. There's like too much that I do. <laughs> Way too much that I do. Um, and then also on the side, um, I'm now refocusing what I do on the side, but um, I work with booking guests um, at my job. So that goes into media branding and media training and learning how to talk with guests on camera or learning how to dress or learning how to write a press release. So you were doing workshops so for a while. You still going to be doing the workshops? I was. At the moment, no. I've decided I think I'm going to stop with the workshop. It's a lot of work. Is it? Yeah. The last one I did was in October and it kind of drained me. That's what we don't schedule people. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Juan. Uh, you go, Juan. Yes. <laughs> but it's a lot of work. And, yeah. and I think the how I wanted to do – so that workshop was – all about interviewing yeah and so I did that with one of my coworkers, and so I had a nice group of women that came I think I had six women that came uh-huh. but it was just the whole process of um, like just planning the the I guess the seminar itself yeah, and right. then yeah. trying to get people to come and I it just drained me so much so I'm like I don't think I want to do the I don't want to <laughs> do the no Okay, um, they told us if you can't hear us, it's because um, my sexy voice have to speak. Yeah. <laughs> <It's mine. laughs> so we're gonna try to speak a little louder into the mic if you that guys can't hear. Us. So sexy. So tell us about uh-huh. like um, our, our listeners, like actually what people should do, how like you know how people can get and like a feature on the news maybe i think it's got community stuff maybe Mm -hmm. or what they're doing yeah so basically how it works um so what we first look for as journalists is why does this event matter or why should we even care Mm because we're still a viewer ourselves right yeah yeah. so if we don't care about it as journalists we're pretty sure our viewers aren't going to care. I mean, there, there may be some people, but yeah, yeah. for us as a station, we may not really care that much about it. So we're probably not going to cover it. Um, okay. So you first want to really make your event uh, newsworthy and timely. And, um, you know, have it really help out a, I would say, a broad group of people. Mm-hmm. Like right now is... Um, what month is it? I think it's domestic awareness. No, um, human tra- human trafficking month. Right, right. I'm hearing a lot of stuff. Yes, about yeah, that yeah. yeah. So, so right we're now. yeah, so we're getting a lot of events in the newsroom about that, and so of course that's timely. So if you have mm, an event going on that's tied okay. into that. You could pitch it to us and say, hey, you know, I want to get, we're having mm-hmm. this event this Saturday. It's a walk or something like that. Would you guys be interested in coming to cover it? You know, it's like that. Um, you also want to be able to talk to the right people. I was going to say demographic wise, right? Kind of focusing mm-hmm. on who mm-hmm. your demographic is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like for a lot of people will come to me and they'll have like, say, a fashion event. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um It depends on the show, too. You wouldn't want to have that event in a 5 p.m. newscast because the audience is completely different. But it would Mm. probably do a lot better at an 11 a.m., a noon, a 3 p.m. newscast because you get moms that that are at home. Yeah, you get people that are at the doctor's office. They're kind of just passing through, but they are kind of just kind of looking up, seeing, oh, that's neat, or wow, I didn't know that. Let me go look it up later when I get home or right. something like that. So they really have to pay attention to the analyticals in the you background. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you also have to do work for your own event or your own topic that you're trying to pitch to. Not we oh. we just can't do all the work. I was gonna say, I thought you just come to you and be like, I have this great idea. <laughs> no. uh, just do it. <laughs> no. Because because then our job is to come back and say so why is this important? important. Why is it important? Oh, or we'll tell you, yeah. say, you know what, we're not really interested. And just leave it at that. Do you have a lot of those <laughs> that you have to turn down? Yeah, like I have one another day. I'm not going to say what it was, right. but my assignment editor said so-and-so wrote a book for top 20, 20 ways to make yourself better. And the woman who is doing it... I'm not going to have her on the show. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to have her on the show. Okay, no. so <laughs> I no. guess I gotta 
do something really. I know. I'm trying to think because I want to be on the show. Like, what can we do to get on this show? Like, because uh, we're kind of boring, boring out here with HR. And I, I know. I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, HR is hard. I know because like, they're, they're, they're just not visual, <laughs> right? Yeah, but if you had something, ooh, if you had something, mm, if you have a story of somebody that was impacted right, by right. one of your clients right right um where it is a representation of the vegas market mm. something like that there's okay. got to be something that's going to grab an audience and say wow i didn't know that or that's so cool or you know i get i need help in that part of my life too so it's stuff like that like you have to ask mm-hmm. questions yourself and right. say what are the who, what, where, when, and why, and how? And how long would you typically, you know, someone who wants to come to your show would have to take in terms of, like, getting that who, what, why, when, where, you know, together? Um, it really doesn't take long. Um, I would say, let's see. Um, I guess if, you, if you're really not familiar with how uh, – I guess media works and how and, you, and can you yeah. go into that? I was gonna say, can you yeah. dive into like what the yeah. media branding is and like how sure. it actually works? Sure. So basically, um, media branding is when you are trying to represent your your brand. It's either it's either yourself or mm-hmm. your company organization. You are trying to tell the public what it is why Mm -hmm. why do people need to care about this and what's so important about it and how can people get more information about it how can you as a company or yourself help out somebody who is really needing something and does that tie into like social media marketing like i was like how does that kind of work to get Mm -hmm. does does it work together because i mean i'm hearing it's a difference right because this is more like Mm -hmm. television Mm -hmm. then there's radio then there's you know email marketing then Mm -hmm. there's social media marketing so does it all tie in together or do you just like really pick one and focus like yeah definitely social media is so important now because When we get a press release into the news station, first one of the first things we do is we go look at your Facebook or your oh, Twitter, really? and we see if oh, you're wow. active. Because if we see that you're not, if your business isn't posting anything oh. for two years, we're like, well, we're probably not. Gonna so I have ask to take them. down my porn. <laughs> that. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. But you know, we do live in Vegas, so yeah, there's my. probably some kind of story in there. We'll probably circle back and say, well, you know, we did see that Rose had that one porn video on there. We could use that for another story. Yeah, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. I mean, because again, I'm, this is just a lot of businesses don't really understand like what right. platform to really focus on. I know for us, it took us a little bit of time. I mean, mm-hmm. we are doing kind of all of it. We haven't touched television. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't know about yeah. that. Mm. I don't I mean, think we're that important yet. The only reason I don't is because I'm so fabulous. I don't want to break the station, you know. Like, okay, yeah, the internet, but, but yeah, you know, it's like, where do you go? How do you focus? You know, do mm-hmm. you work with a branding specialist? Do you just do your own research? Like, mm-hmm. like aren't there media kits or something? Yeah, like, what do you do? Or like this that, whole press release thing. What does thing. that actually mean? The press release? Is it a, like a statement? Like. So that's a really good question. Right. So I have a workshop that just focuses on press releases. Okay. Um, Because that's a job in itself because a lot of people don't know how to write them, especially if you're starting out in your Mm -hmm. own, in your business. Right. You you wouldn't, you really, really know how to do it. And that's okay. Um, But it does take a skill. So a press release is you are informing the media about an event that you're having or a service that you're going to be providing one weekend or maybe during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, you know, you do something really special. Mm -hmm. Um, And a press advisory is kind of one of the same, too. Um, Rose, you mentioned media kits. So those are more of like a, I guess you would say, kind of big old file where you put pictures and videos oh. and a press release all in one thing so it's really easy because then we can just sort through everything right there and pick what we want oh, so those okay. are great like when you do come on a okay. tv show and then like because normally i'll say can you send me some pictures or a video that i can use with the interview and so like a media kit is perfect because it's all right there and it's then i can right just okay. pull out oh. what i need so that's I not something that you guys do that's something that the would come mm-hmm. with us 
when we are ready. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And who helps us with that? Like, who would help? Us? Do we just randomly pick our own pictures? Because I'm like, I like that one, but you might say, <laughs> I, I hate it. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. well, I mean, I could help you out with that. <laughs> but I mean, to start out, right. a lot of people they do go to um, media branding specialists. Oh. I have not heard the best. Um, I guess experiences because right. it's just it's just money because since you're just starting out you really don't know what you're doing right um so honestly it's if, if you do get a media branding specialist have somebody who currently works in media whether it's tv oh. newspaper or radio have them review stuff for you because they we're the ones that really know what we're looking for right. for mm-hmm. somebody who mm-hmm. maybe and not to say that somebody who is a media branding specialist has not worked in the industry i would hope yeah. they do but things change so much um, right. within media that yeah. we're always kind of fluctuating and playing catch up because we see it but for somebody who's maybe been removed for two years three right. years they really they may but i mean when you're not in front of it 24 7 like somebody who's currently working you're not really gonna know what's trending or what what's the best way to yeah. do something yeah so yeah. true. Mm-hmm. And, the, and, and, the, and exactly what you said, it's money, right? And you, you know, you're yeah. investing that money and hoping that that person is going to be helpful, but then mm-hmm. you're not mm-hmm. really knowing because you don't right. know yourself and you're yeah. like, yeah, I guess that's know. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like whenever you have a press release, um, right. have somebody who works in the industry look over it for you. Um, I spoke to one girl, this was last year, and bless her heart, she did bring me a press release, and she said, is this right? It was a novel, and it was <laughs> so bad. I said, who wrote this for you? She said, oh, it was some, she hired somebody wow. to write uh-huh. it for her. I said, I don't know what this is, but this is not a press release. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so long. That was the thing. I'm like, nobody's going to read this. So then, so then there is a standard amount in of words, and like as yeah, far as for the press short. release, it should be a short, oh, kind short. of to the yeah. point type of yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, you just want to give your five W's: the who, what, where, when, and why, and then your how. Um, the how is like, how can we reach you if we mm-hmm. want to? contact you or do a story on you what's the easiest Uh way yeah that's really all you need they're real quick just one one page i wouldn't even say a page but like maybe two three paragraphs Hmm. what could we be on there for you know i'm just trying to think (laughs) (laughs) i mean there should be something on um single mothers who you know uh and become entrepreneurs and raising children and all that I stuff. I know. I mean, would that be like a segment yeah. that would be like, would capture someone in terms of like being an entrepreneur and kind of like having to do it yourself and being a woman and, you know, an entrepreneur spirit and trying to get things together and still be, a, you know, a mom. Like, mm-hmm. is that something that you and think having people... having to struggle with my amazingness with all these people <laughs> I all cannot, the time. I cannot with you, Rose. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, those are definitely, I mean, you can make any idea into a segment right it's just the way that you um the way that you spin it in the way that's gonna make it interesting that we present it the, yeah the presentation exactly the way that you present it because um like there are a lot of single mothers out there how do you make it into a story that is something um that is so extraordinary like what is what is like maybe there's a single mother out there who has overcome like five obstacles in her life or something right. like that yeah, yeah um yeah. that's inspiring to um a certain um demographic within vegas because not everybody is probably going to be able to relate to that but right. somebody yeah. is yeah. Right. you know right mm-hmm. okay I, I don't know. Could you tell us like maybe an experience that you have had or the most interesting story or something that you may mm-hmm. have done like a press release for? Could you tell us a little bit or no? Is that, um, is that private information? No, Confidential it's not. information? No. <laughs> um, like just one of the I ones that you really, really enjoyed. That you I know? really enjoyed. A press yeah. release specifically? Not a press release, or like but just, just a story. Sh- yeah, a story. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I do have a lot of those. I'm trying to think of a really fun one. Um... I will say, um, I mean, there's a lot. I would say as a producer, I think the rewarding thing that I get to do is that, I mean, I get to see, I get to see everything. Um, Mm. So you'll get some of those stories every day. I wouldn't say some, but every day you'll get a story. You're like, oh my God. 
gosh, I don't really want to write this, but I have to. <laughs> um, so I think, I mean, it's so simple, but we did a story on with the whole DACA renewal. This was last oh, year. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. yeah. And so I think what was fun and really interesting for me is that I kind of went back to what DACA is because right. you kind of forget yeah. what's the yeah. whole controversy behind it. Yeah. And so... Um, I kind of just dove into it and did, you know, a little bit of research here and there and tried to make my reporter store bigger mm-hmm. than it already was. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a fun one for me. Um, I know you got to get some that are just a hot mess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and you just got to smile and grin through Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I'm trying to think of like an interview that we had recently. Um Gosh, I'm trying to think of a good one. Because if it had been with me, you <clears throat> would remember it. That's true. <laughs> I can't wait. That's that true. Really <laughs> <laughs> For all of you, oh, you are late today. Is today true. you yes, are on please. one. She's <laughs> telling you today, like, yes. you're going to be going live, you're going to want to see all this hotness. So just make sure you follow Entrepreneur Life on our Facebook page or just visit our website and see where we are. Right. Don't break down the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, you know, I'll definitely give you some time to to think. Yeah, through that. come back to um, me. Come back to you on mm-hmm. that. So, yeah. could you, you know, in terms of you know your day to day interaction with what you do, and for again for us as entrepreneurs, we're always yeah. trying to figure out the best strategies to to market ourselves, yeah. right? Um, would you say there is a starting point? Would you say that there's something that you should at least start with and then build up to these other platforms, or mm-hmm. how? Like, how do you identify which one works for you or can help an entrepreneur figure Mm. it out? Um, I would say uh, I would say the most important thing for entrepreneurs, for media um, is to really build up who it is you are as a brand, Mm. Um, because that's the that's the story. You know, what, Mm -hmm. how are we going to recognize you, right? Yeah. And how are we really going to make sure that we're getting the story correct? Because there's been Mm -hmm. plenty of times where I've read a press release and I've gotten the story wrong. And it's so embarrassing. And I feel so bad, like, for me writing it. Because there was one story, um, and I love this story, and I totally butchered it. And so we got calls and emails about it. I was like, oh, God, I feel so bad. But it was the way that the press release was written. Right, yeah. So I can only go off of so much. So it sucked. But, I mean, it's it, the way that you write those press releases. Yeah. You really kind of got to make it. Journalists are very simple. We're so simple. So if you just make it black and white, <laughs> we'll get it. <laughs> yes. We'll, we will we will do our darndest. Um, so I say that is mainly what, if you're really just starting out in right. a business yeah. or within a company, really just build up who it is that you are and how you want to be viewed within a community. And uh, yeah. That's better when you say I was going to ask yeah. you that too. I mean, like, yeah. is it, do, as a business owner, an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. are we, should we, get involved in the community immediately or is that after building up your brand or does that help with building your brand is you know the exposure in the community as well i would say build up your brand first okay yeah Mm. figure it out who it is that you really what it is your company really stands for and by and then branch off from there figure it out what it is that you um want to help out with or who do you want to help right um <laughs> and then when you have something so it goes back to that client avatar yeah. situation yes. huh? yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then that's when <laughs> stories will come up because that's when you have more interactions with clients or right, you right. have interactions at a neat event right and that's when we're like oh that could be a neat story or yeah you know we'll take a look at it and see it seems really cool i don't know if we're going to get to it but yeah it seems neat yeah because yeah. we can always come back to it right. um and then the thing that also a lot of companies and brands don't realize is that pictures are amazing especially for tv like if we mm-hmm. can't make it to something send pictures because we can always just you can put a picture on the screen and it's saying you're still getting attention yeah right. for yeah. your company okay. or your business without right. us actually being there what about videos then what is your thoughts yeah on the same videos? for videos so, okay yeah okay either yeah, or then for... would work yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it's all it's all just media we just have to 
put it up on screen. Right. Well, you guys yeah. did take, didn't you guys go to the dance class? You and Yeah, so we, we did. We girls, did. So we you did. guys could do a video. Did you guys learn how to <laughs> dance? <feel that> heels? <laughs> yes, okay, with heels and everything. <laughs> but my heels was not on because what? I What? Mean, and you're yeah. the heel queen. I know, because I, know. I need to get the dance right first, yeah. okay, and then fair. I'll put the heels on that's later. Fair. I get it. I Actually, get my it. heels broke. As soon as I arrived, they but broke. but yeah, so because <laughs> I wear them because of that show, oh, because of that, that dance thing. Yes, <laughs> that's why she was, she was twerking in them heels. Yes, <laughs> I was. But yeah, so videos like that that kind of help because it was for a good cause. You know? uh -huh. It was for you know little girls and helping them to come out of their shell and be comfortable with who yeah. they are. Of mm -hmm. course, yeah. um, mm -hmm. African American girls and yeah. things like that. So it was really you know exciting for us to be in that space where we are women in business and kind of being able to help little girls see yeah. that they can achieve anything mm -hmm. you know yeah because yeah. i think that's one of the hardest thing as a kid is not really knowing where you're going to be or what right. you're, you know if your dreams are going to come true if you don't mm -hmm. have those right types of people in your in your background to kind of mm -hmm. help you believe in yourself so yeah that was really a good cause that's awesome fun. yeah yeah <laughs> so something like that you can oh, so definitely then i need to be on the show that i got something i mean well yeah <laughs> but, but i mean just think just think about right. the new year and like what's coming up you right. know black history month next month right, right. so right. i mean that's also black. timely right. yeah yes. that's also something <laughs> timely in our favor. you know it's it's stuff like that or mm -hmm. think about other events where it involves kids and a story that could help parents learn something new about their child or the way that maybe there's a new parenting skill they need to practice <laughs> or like a habit i don't yeah. know something like that okay. um yeah so hmm. i can think of it like that okay mm -hmm. <laughs> well, i don't know about y'all but i hope you guys are getting something out of this and if you want to be a uh, your 15 minutes of fame you really need to get a hold of uh uh, Janelle. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, so talking about journal journalism. So uh, when I see the news, mm -hmm. I see the people who are behind the camera, yeah. uh, where they are doing the news, telling yes. them. Then you have the people who are out on the field who are talking to the people, mm -hmm. and then I see the person who's always the crazy one who's at all the events yeah. and doing all the crazy stuff. <laughs> Who's that? Is that so, who is that? Is that you? Who like, who's, is that the producer? Like in the background, kind of making because sure all of those people Because they'll be like it. Job? Like if there's an event going on, they're the ones running up to the what is that tower where they do the stairs with the firemen, and know. then or there's an event and they're getting on the roller coaster. There's like, and I, I'm a, I'm a Channel Five person, um, so maybe that's why. But there's that's what I see. There's, there's di I, I guess there's different types of journalists. The one behind the camera, mm -hmm. the one who are actually out talking to people mm -hmm. and doing interviews, mm -hmm. and um, and then there's ones that are at like go to events. I don't know if it's just coincidental mm -hmm. that I see it, the same people doing those separate things. Are mm -hmm. those they're all just journalists? Yeah. We're all just, we just have different I, jobs. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna journalism. we're gonna take a quick break because I want to understand like what journalism is really. Yeah, like what is it? Like yeah. what's that job? Like can uh, I be a journalist? Yes, but you I'm can. Not good at writing, so then I don't want to. Oh do please. It. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. Thank you for listening in. SWHR Consulting is a privately owned and operated human resource consulting firm in the Las Vegas area. SWHR Consulting focuses on providing exceptional services to startup businesses and small organizations. We aim to help organizations streamline their HR and improve the way they engage and manage their employees. Shamara Walker, owner, teaches you how to strike a balance between your goals and the needs of your employees while retaining your core company culture. Shamara Walker and her friendly employees displays integrity, flexibility, experience, and commitment as key principles. SWHR Consulting puts the human back into human resources. Contact us today at 702-979-2119 or email us at info at swhrconsulting.com. Check out our website at www.swhrconsulting.com. We're putting the human back into human resources. McDonald Bookkeeping, your small business one-stop shop for your bookkeeping needs. McDonald Bookkeeping, practical accounting solutions for today's entrepreneurs. 
McDonald Bookkeeping is there for your payroll, taxes, and QuickBooks financial software. McDonald Bookkeeping customize accounting services to fit almost any budget. McDonald Bookkeeping, bookkeeping and payroll made simple. McDonald Bookkeeping is the perfect move for small businesses, entrepreneurs, and bosses. Check out our website at www.mcdonald-bookkeeping.com. Bookkeeping made simple. Get more ready your life with Entrepreneur Life. Hot soda no 2.5, better tune in. If not, then you're losing. Let's talk about business and what you need for you to succeed. What I help, you might just live stress free. Don't trust me, just come see. More money, more problems, but we can manage that. Teach you step by step how to handle that. No more struggling, no more excuses. It's time to think about yourself and your future. Get more ready your life with Entrepreneur Life. No more struggling, no more excuses. Time to think about you and your future. Think about your future. And when you're ready, contact us on Instagram or Facebook at McDonald Bookkeeping. Or feel free to call toll free 1 800 560 5139. Also featuring SWHR Consultant with Shamar Walker. Stay tuned. And we are back with another day in the life of an entrepreneur. Woo-hoo. And I am your hot entrepreneur number one host. Yes. Rose. And I'm number two. <laughs> Shamar so, here I just want to make sure you guys know because uh, you want to know what's behind his voice. <laughs> you better <laughs> watch us live because we will be going live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's get real. Let's get serious. Okay. So let's get back to our guests. Right. Danielle, thank Hi. you again for being on our show. We're oh, excited to, again to have you here yes. um, with, you know, just talking about <clears throat> media, you know, branding yeah. yourself and how that mm-hmm. actually works. I know when we last when we ended the, you know, the on the break, we talked we were talking about um, what it is to be you like how, you know, how do you get to that space? Um, and what are some of the things that as a journalist or what that actually means <laughs> for someone in that role? And how do you even get there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, anybody can be a journalist. I know you said that before the end of the break. Right. And I was like, you said, oh, I'm not good at writing. So I couldn't do it. I was like, uh, pump the brakes. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> anybody can be a journalist. It right. just, it really just depends on do you have good news judgment? Right. And mm-hmm. are you just aware of what is happening around you? Mm-hmm. And if you are really, if you're really passionate about writing and being a, um, I would say if you like to, if you just like to ask a lot of questions and you're just naturally curious, hmm. then okay, yeah. I mean, those there's there's so many qualities that um, journalists have because everybody's different. Um, but you need to have some things that you're just naturally given. <laughs> now, for people like us, uh-huh. um, business owners, entrepreneurs, yes. mm-hmm. and of course. It seems like your branding and your demographics are so important to everything, just getting anywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. What are some of the first, I'd say, some tips that you would say a new business owner up and coming, um, and I always tell people to have a three to five year plan, yeah. you know, use, utilizing the media to mm-hmm. get your brand out there is so important. Right. What are some of the first tools you say they should be doing as in their transparency or being tangible yeah you know in marketing themselves so it doesn't work against them yeah i would say one of the big things is using social media that's Mm -hmm. a great way to be Mm -hmm. transparent just showing who you are and 
where we can find you, how people mm-hmm. are really interacting with you. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree. And I want to, uh, you know, ask this question, because for me, when I started my business, mm-hmm. I was very behind this. I hid behind right. the, the, the social media, in a sense. And it was very stock, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of stock pictures with really yeah, nice quotes and yeah. things like that. So that's kind of how I started. But, mm-hmm. you know, no one really knew who I am. They're like, OK, I love your stuff. But who are you? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who is this yeah. person behind the scenes? But I yeah. was, you know, very fearful of putting myself out there because I didn't know how people might have been receptive. And right. so, um, like, what would you say to somebody like that that are probably in that same space where they might have start with that mm-hmm. and getting comfortable to then put themselves mm-hmm. out there? So last year I was like, OK, guys, this is who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, and I started to use more pictures of myself, mm-hmm. um, yeah. you know, started to do a little bit more video, those types of things, because, I mean, I. From what I gather, it's important for people to know who you are, in, you know, in your business. So. Yeah. Yeah. I would say I think it's I think it's really good as you being a business owner to um, let your demo know who you are. But also, we really want to see more of the business. Like, what is the business doing? Right. Um, because you run the business. So it's mm-hmm. great that we're seeing you in all these pictures online and everything. But mm-hmm. What is in your action. business yeah. actually doing? Like, okay. are you volunteering with another organization or were you mm-hmm. at an event? Did you receive a, an award? Not, like, not you personally. Like, did the business the bin- itself okay. Okay. Um, receive some cool recognition? Um, like, for Christmas, um, we had a really neat thing that I think it was Boyd Gaming. They were doing um, a Christmas tree um like a decoration contest throughout all the Boyd gaming casinos. And so, but the community could participate within it and vote online Mm -hmm. for which tree they like the best. So it's stuff like that. Um, So, I mean, I don't know who the president of Boyd gaming is, but I mean, the company itself is still engaging with the Las Vegas community Mm -hmm. and saying, Mm -hmm. we want you to, celebrate the holiday season with us vote your for your favorite christmas tree at whatever property you're going to across the valley so it's stuff like that um i would say there are oh um i would say another thing you want to do is um starting out is i wouldn't honestly get too involved with media like a year in mm. um i still think it's a little too soon Got it. um mm. But even if you're doing something like really awesome, sure, why not? I mean, the the worst thing that could happen is no, <laughs> like you don't get coverage. Yeah. So do you do you think? So this is just from your perspective coming on TV, yeah. right? Okay, mm-hmm. okay, that's not like the social media getting yourself out there. In social no. media, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. So what about physical presentation? Because you know, I I a while back, as you guys know, I hired a um, a personal stylist, no. and um. It really, really helped me because I um, I looked at other people and I think you should you always can look at somebody that you can mentor from yeah. right. or say, gosh, I would like to be there or uh, what you what, where you think they are. Mm-hmm. So I hired somebody. I changed my hair, all this other stuff. And it did benefit me. But they say your first couple of minutes of presence is so important. Yeah. Right. So. I mean, would you say that a person should really take that in consideration? Because I did, mm-hmm. I, I, I was asked to speak at an event one time and mm-hmm. I brought that up and someone in the back someone said, well, I think it's just your, you know, um, your education, your profession should speak and that's it. But mm-hmm. sometimes people don't see that behind your presence. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, definitely. Right. Attire really um, pays a factor. There are a lot of people that will get who come on the show and they say, what should I wear? And it's it's totally fine because they just want to do a good job yeah, and they yeah, want to look right. uh, they want to be a good representation of their company. Yeah, um, so yeah. I would really recommend um, don't wear any colors that don't look good on TV. And you can do that by going to look at interviews at different stations across the country. Just watch um, just watch GMA or watch a watch a station here. Right. See what other people are wearing going on to a new 
news interview, mm-hmm. see what worked and see like to you yourself, like, do you think that that looked good? Or you think <laughs> that looks just <laughs> so bad, you know, <laughs> cause you know, you know, you know, yeah. yeah. And you have to, you have to take into um, consideration the lights. I mean, you look so bright on TV. Um, so you don't really want to wear too much. I don't be too gaudy. You don't wear mm-hmm. too much flashy jewelry, but you can still wear jewelry, jewelry. Um, but you don't want to be like overpowering yourself. Your uh, your business or your event is the story. We're not really looking at you, but you still want to look good. You right, still want right, to look yeah, good right, because yeah. what your viewers are going to be saying, "Wow, like she she did a really good job at that interview," and I'm totally going to reach out to her because I think she would really help me out. Just physical appearance is huge, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you find yeah. that it's um I, I've seen a, a, a now this is people doing the actual interviewing of like a, a they'll have a guest on the show about an event yeah that there's been times when the journalist or interviewer has mm-hmm. had to really struggle with pulling information because the person isn't as prepared maybe as they thought just to engage and to yeah. have a conversation yeah, how is yeah. that <laughs> have you yeah. had that yeah okay. and sometimes <laughs> it just makes you so sad it makes you so sad <laughs> but. I think the really good thing that a journalist can do is just say we're ha- we're just having a conversation. Like you just have to think how am I going to talk about this if you were my girlfriend or you're mm. my mom or you're my sister. You're mm. just you're just talking, but you just have a camera on you. That's if you can get into that mindset and it takes time. It really takes time. So don't put so much pressure yeah. on yourself and um uh, your interviewer will will tell you that too. They'll want to make you feel comfortable if they're really mm-hmm. um, good about their job. They want to do that for you because they want to mm-hmm. see you be successful in the interview and mm-hmm. not make you look like an idiot and not make themselves look like an idiot. <laughs> so if they're really good at that, they'll do that for you. And you also have every right to say, what are we going to be talking about in the interview? Because you want to be prepared right. yourself too. Right. So you can go in and say, mm-hmm. I want to talk about this this and this and this um i don't and you can even say i don't know much information about this i would prefer if we don't mention it oh yeah you can do that you have every yeah you have every right to do that so i mean what about when we see the news where people just caught catch people off guard is no. that that's on purpose let, let me tell yeah. you a, okay this happened to me this happened to me okay so there was an incident happened a year and a half ago mm-hmm. and it was all on the news and this guy had stole this car mm-hmm. um in from the college um lv Los, UNLV. yeah unlv yeah. Uh-huh. and so this lady i guess he she was about to get in the car with her daughter or uh-huh. something he took the car anyway he ended up in our neighborhood oh. and stole our neighbor's car oh my god four doors down what? so now, I have always seen those people on interview, and you're like, why the hell did they interview that person with no teeth and whatever? <laughs> so, wait, so I'm doing my, my, my chores in my house, and my house is the only one that has cameras. Yeah. So the journalist comes over, and I don't want to say who this station is because I don't know if I get in trouble. But she was pregnant at the time, and she's Latin. Uh-huh. And so she comes, and, and I'm in my garage. And she says, hey, do you hear about what happened? And she's like, what do you think? I'm literally, I have on a house dress. Is it jacked <laughs> up? I had on no socks or anything. No uh-huh. bra. Uh-huh. You feel me? <laughs> and, you know, I, I had this um, this do-rag on my head. Uh-huh. And I'm just having, and so right behind her comes the person with the camera, just holding it down to their side. Oh. And she, I think she was Hawaiian. She looked Hawaiian. Uh-huh. And so the next thing you know, the girl starts to put the camera over. I said, oh, no, no, no. Oh. So there were, they started interviewing so now i know how people who look like jack on crack end up uh-huh. on camera uh-huh. <laughs> is that really a, they yeah. just do it like that yeah, yeah. Oh, and wow. sometimes that happens because uh, the reporters under crunch time so uh-huh. sometimes they really just need somebody <laughs> it it's really sucky but if you think That's about it funny. if you saw like if you look at all the bloopers news bloopers right. that you see on youtube yeah. they're good tv, right. they're good TV. No. so yeah. you're trying to get viewers to pay attention to this story <laughs> It's so wrong. Like even when I go back and watch yeah. Antoine Dodson, I'm like, Lord, like, I would have been dying in the control room. <laughs> but it's good TV, and everybody remembers what that story was. Yeah, that is so true. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. So funny. But honestly, sometimes it is just crunch time because um, sometimes you'll have a reporter that is sent out the door, like 
within an hour and Uh then um, a producer will come to you and say if you can get sound give me some sound and like okay (laughs) and so they'll try and find anybody just to get some yeah just to get somebody to say (laughs) something about this thing to make the story have substance Hmm. well I didn't want to be a people of Walmart so I was like that's okay (laughs) then that's okay (laughs) that's okay we're we're a little mad but you have every right to do that Because because even the reporter can say, um, we talked to a neighbor. They didn't want to appear on camera, but they said, yada, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, kind of going back to the, you know, the the branding of your business and yeah. things like that. You know, when, how do you know if you're like branding correctly? Like what mm-hmm. are some of the things that, you know, you would really need to be thinking about to make sure that you are branding yourself to the appropriate people and yeah. that people are going to really connect with mm-hmm. your brand? I yeah. even consider who, um. I had to unfriend people mm-hmm. because I was concerned with if what people saw, other people would see that I am oh. following. <clears throat> and I don't even know if, if that's important. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. What are, yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I would say what you were saying, Shamara, the, the like correct if you, yeah, if you, medium. Yeah. You, just knowing if you're, you know, the things that you're doing for your brand yeah. is the appropriate thing to yeah. do. Because again, mm-hmm. every business is starting and the whole point is to get out there. So it whatever is. that, whatever you can do to get that exposure is what you're going to do. Right. So like, how do you know it's the right type of exposure and you're doing the right things to get mm-hmm. the exposure? You yeah. need to know what is the correct medium for you. Um, for both of your businesses, TV is tough because mm-hmm. it's not visual and it's, it's, it's dry. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't come across well on camera, but print is great because it's you can always have the paper. People yeah. can always yes. go tangible. back. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tangible. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then even so like radio. those white papers and yes. things like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Magazines are great. Okay. Um, and then also hmm, I didn't even th- like because oh, yeah. I'm like we've kind of had that yeah. where maybe we should do something in the magazine, but we're yeah. like, is it yeah. going to be distributed out? To, and who's right. getting who's these magazines? So, yeah. So you're saying so it's a good thing for our type of business? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Because pe- people want to read like mm-hmm. what we do. Yes. It's something that you can't really see us do you all the time see yeah mm, but if you okay. can just read facts and say like if you point out to people and say we provide services and such and such and such people are going to read that and they're going to still be able to hold out still be able to hold on to it if they forget about it they right. can go back to it unlike tv yeah. you have to go online search and find the video hmm. um podcasts are great too because Obviously, that's, <laughs> but that's why we decided to start going live and yeah, doing podcasts because right. we're a service business. And exactly. It's like, like I said, how are we, we going to yeah. show you what we do? I mean, we can have you, you can follow us. Like, hey, like, like <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, I'm about to sign this contract. Yeah, you're doing right already. Talking about your right. services and talking about this is media, so yeah. you're doing the right thing and putting talking being on. You're broadcasted over airwaves on line yeah, that's right. really easy for you guys to get your businesses out there so would you say for service based in um, businesses like the, the print and maybe mm-hmm. radio is probably or talking about kind of what we do is like mm-hmm. a good yeah okay. but also um, if you collaborate with another organization um, and there's some visual um, component that they have you okay. can come with them because you're working with them together like we had an interview where um it was the i think nevada firefighters association and then we had a restaurant they were doing a benefit together mm-hmm. so for firefighting um i mean a good looking man yeah that's very visual <laughs> yeah, so of course so nice. of like, course he was that. on the show i was like that's, that's good right there bring that all on <laughs> but i mean they were able to bring on food so right. you know the firefighter was talking about you know come out it's going to be a great time we're going to have food yeah, there so you can the see while their shirts no, are off unfortunately oh, man okay. i can't <laughs> control everything <laughs> show i can't do that but it's stuff like that if okay. if you can find a really neat collaboration and say um yeah my my team's going to be out there we're going to be having fly you bring flyers on too right. but think of something that is visual Um, Because you want to attract your viewer that way um, for TV, if if that's what you're wanting to focus on. But definitely not just rely on TV. Focus on other things, too. There's so much. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think for us, it's kind of that comfort zone, trying to come out of that, our you know, our personality. Yeah. Because we're really fun people, you yes. know, but we're in an industry yeah. that we have to it's be, very like, serious. very serious and very yes. strict. And so how do you put those two things together has constantly be a, been a struggle, right. I think, for myself. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I can't speak for Rose, but... I don't want it to be, you know, what we do because I understand the complexities and the compliances mm-hmm. behind what I do and why it's important. But right. we still can have fun with it. And oh, so yeah. how do we, you know, show that we have a personality mm-hmm. and can still be business? You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Without taking away from our professionalism. Yes. Right. Without yeah. taking away from our professionalism. Yeah. I think, you know, it's our, our struggle, especially in what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. how yeah. do we do that? Danielle. Um, <laughs> well, just, I, I can take bikini shots. Oh, I, I, no, that too. Not, bro. You can and start off doing that on social media. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just said that because I see people doing that, and I'm t- I'm so tired of the bathroom shots. But <laughs> and so I did myself and they just a little. Go, cut. They go like real, like they get so famous off of that. Yeah, and I'm like, really? do I That's need to go? I mean, yeah. I don't want to have to go there. <laughs> It's like how do you know? Like how do you compete with those types of people <laughs> that just take one shot and all of a sudden they're famous? I don't, and we're like I don't trying even to like know. figure out how to just bring our personality out of what <laughs> I, we do. Yeah. Like show they just have it. really show good cleavage publicity. and then know, just have like, a yeah. sign that says accountant with the cleavage. <laughs> right, accountant. <laughs> just you know what I do. <laughs> It also pays to know the right people, too. Right. You just yeah. got to know the right yeah. people, right. too. Okay. I mean, you know me. Right. Um, right. But also, I would just say get really creative. We live in Vegas. You can do so much. Hmm. There's so much you can do here. But your topics are naturally just, they're just dry. Very and that's dry. that's nothing against what you both do. Because <laughs> you both are wonderful. But they're naturally just yeah. dry. Like, yeah. you, only, you only go to them if you, like, specifically need something Right. That yeah. specific, right, right. So <sighs> that's we're why to I, make it, you I know. know. Well, to I make thought it. about doing changing my name to CBD. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> CBD. <laughs> yeah, CBD bookkeeping services. <laughs> Because that seems to be the thing. <laughs> well, don't don't you work with? You were telling me you work with. Uh, was it an NFL team? Something? No basketball team sport some sports oh, so we oh. got to do some sports okay no, I, yeah, I, 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 no, I, but I, I mean that, that's a way and, yeah <laughs> i've interviewed people and, and I think, uh, you know, this and, is, yeah, the, you know, in the, in the profession. Yeah. This is why I think for us, we, you know, we wanted to get a platform like this where mm-hmm. we can be a little real, but bring people in that are people that have businesses and we can have some real life conversations. Mm-hmm. Because, again, what we do is so boring. I mean, what we do and yeah. talk about every yeah. day is not something that people want to hear about yeah. unless they really need our they, services yeah, or really help. need our help. So yeah. and this, you need our help. Right. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why I I'd say print is right. probably just famous fantastic for you guys and also uh radio and podcasts because people can listen in and out or as they're in the car or on a saturday afternoon they're just reading about an awesome story of how you helped out somebody right you know i did notice that when i was doing i think we're going back to the education piece right when i was actually started my podcast i started actually giving them real answers to questions Mm-hmm. And we've kind of gotten away from it a bit. We're yeah, to I mean, because both of us were, you know, Rose was doing her own thing on YouTube. I was doing my own <laughs> thing on YouTube and everything right. like that. And mm-hmm. so we were like, man, I mean, yeah, what we do, you know, and I'm trying to laugh about it and be <laughs> fun while I'm giving yes. this data. But uh-huh. it's like, OK, is that is that enough? Does people Are people intrigued by that? So I think us coming together on the show yeah. brought out mm-hmm. both of our personalities. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. we have the ability to talk and how we, yeah. we work together with businesses. Right. Because we understand, like, she's first and I'm second, you know, and how right. things actually um, matter up in yeah. terms yeah. of, like, the business. Yeah, yeah. how the, the business goes. structure yeah. and everything yeah. like It's good that, to have a voice to your services right. so yes. people right. know who they're going to talk with. Bookkeeping. Yes. yes. Okay. HR. Yes. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to, you know, wrap up the show again. Thank you so much, Danielle, oh, for yeah. coming out of and course. letting us know a little bit more about social, well, ma- just bra- media branding yes. overall, which yeah. encompasses all of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, tell us where we can find you if they're, you know, interested in attending maybe your workshop, having private events, whatever you're doing right now sure. so that they can reach out. Sure. So you can contact me personally. That's the easiest way. Um, my Instagram and Twitter is at it's I-T-S, Danny, D-A-N-I, Nelson. Okay. And I like to keep my Facebook private because I got porn on it, right? <laughs> 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 so I love private. it. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, thank you again. <laughs> Twitter is really easy. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> so say one more time. Give it to give it to us one more time. Okay, Twitter, Instagram is at it's Danny Nelson, and you can also reach me by email. It's Dano Nelson at Comcast.net. I'm always checking my email. Yes. Yes. Okay. And if you guys can't find her, just check out Mia Shamar. Yes. 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 Thank you, guys. This yes. is Bye. Entrepreneur Lab. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Get more ready your life with Entrepreneur Life. Hot 702.5, better tune in. If not, then you're losing. Let's talk about business and what you need for you to succeed. What I help, you might just live stress-free. Don't trust me, just come see. More money, more problems, but we can manage that. Teach you step-by-step step how to handle that. No more struggling, no more excuses. It's time to think about yourself and your future. Get more ready your life with Entrepreneur Life. No more struggling, no more excuses. Time to think about you and your future. Think about your future. And when you're ready, contact us on Instagram or Facebook at McDonald Bookkeeping. Or feel free to call toll free 1 800 560 5139. Also featuring SWHR Consultant with Shamar Walker. Stay tuned.